Well, welcome back to Chrono Cross. We're still in the home world. Uh, we have a couple more dragons that we do need to fight. Real quick here, though. Oh, let's just land. I think you can actually see who I'm bringing with me here. Uh, I decided that we needed to do something a little different because I was getting sick of Karsh, uh, to be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring Viper with me for a little bit. Um, Viper can actually use Viper's Venom. We picked that up. I don't know, we picked that up at some point in time. But yeah, it's a ex exclusive weapon for Viper himself. Uh, when it comes to, really, elements. Oh, you know what I can do is actually just fill in the blanks here. But I want to make sure that we've got, you know, pretty much everything. Like, one of everything. We're not going to be able to use blue elements here, so pack some red ones. Okay, let's see if I can remember which path we actually need to take here. It's gonna be even more fun getting out because I'm, I'm not quite good at remembering how to get out of here. Anyway, so yeah. Don't have to craft a weapon for Viper. It's pretty good. It's better than the stone one. Not for... Um, what am I thinking of? Uh, hit percentage? It's stronger, but it has a lower hit percentage. Uh, these guys don't want us to be here, but I don't care. So, there you go. This is basically the same area as it was previously. One of the things I do want to stop and get, because I actually forgot to do it while we were here, is if you go up here, there is a chest. It's just a magic ring. I'm not going to use it, but you might want to have it with you anyway, just in case. Uh, let me take out... I want to take this guy out. Let me do that real quick. I want to check something. Okay, so that actually does answer my question. As we continue down here, any enemies we find, we're going to want to fight because, yeah, we have a whole bunch of level ups we need to do. I think there are two... Oh, there's just the one here. Okay, well, um, I was gonna say we're gonna be fighting some new enemies, but he's right here. This is the side steppa. Uh, I have no concerns here. These guys are not very hard. Um, they're all blue elementals, so use red against them. At this point, even if they use like just for kicks and stuff like that, uh, on average I'm taking about zero points of damage from them, so I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Maybe if we can get to Viper, I'll show off some of his um, techs. Okay, so they did some damage to Viper there, but still, that's not that bad. Really? Fargo? Uh, I'm gonna have to have a talk. All right, well, let's see if we can get some of his techs up and going here. Let's actually use... I was using some of his lower attacks to make sure that I actually got that hit percentage up. He's got uh, Air Force here. So let's go ahead and check it out. That's pretty cool. Okay, so sidestep, uh, that was, I guess it was sagging. I didn't even realize it was sagging. And we're done here. Yeah, so as you can see, we're still leveling up, so I wanna make sure that we do, in fact, get all of those before we move on. I don't think there's anything new here that we need to, like, collect, so don't worry too much about it. Let me clear out all of these guys. Okay, Surge, the water dragon's just beyond here. Yes, and I was a little concerned there because I wasn't sure I was going to get all the um, stat upgrades that I wanted, but I got all of them, so I think we're good. You could go back up and save if you wanted to. I probably should. Yes. Links, please. Thank you. 
The time has come. I shall grant my powers to the ones who seek to break the eternal chains of fate. What is it thou seekest? The dragon god's blessing. Dost thou need the powers of the sleeping dragons to cross the Dead Sea? Dost thou seek to break the chains of fate, a son of man to challenge the goddess of fate? Fascinating. Then confront my trials. Okay, this one's uh, a little bit more tough than some of the other ones we faced before, so we do want to be uh, pretty ca pretty cautious here. Um, game? Why was? Why do we do all that? Let me get my stat boosts up here, cause or my hit boosts up here, cause good grief. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit with an inferno. I'm gonna have Fargo steal in the next turn. He's got a blue plate, as one would expect. And then I'm gonna have Viper use Diminish if we can get that. Let's go ahead and make sure we actually... Okay, so this is the first Tsunami Beam. Oh my goodness. He's got several attacks. Uh, this actually might be bad. Um... So, as you can see here, his strong is only at 85%. Um, that's actually bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just use Diminish with Fargo first. I wanna get his fierce attack, his level three attack, uh, a little bit higher than that. I will probably use an Eagle Eye on him so that I can max that out. I wanna make absolutely sure that I can steal that plate. Um, let's see, do you have Eagle Eye on you? I know I gave it to you. There it is. Let's give that to Fargo. And we did use that diminish, so we should be okay to survive this because uh, the boss here is just pretty much gonna spam that tsunami wave. It's really annoying, by the way. It's one of my least favorite things. Deluge and tsunami beam. He's also got, I think, ice breath or like ice blast, maybe both. Um, and it's super annoying, let me, let me tell ya. Uh, let's go ahead and use another Inferno here. I forgot to take, what's that wearing the Infernos for? Something. Uh, what, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just use three, another three, and then let's use that Pillage. So we should have a 100% chance of stealing the blue plate from him. You can definitely not get it, which is super annoying. You can run from battle, I think, in order to re-enter and have more pillage, but I don't think we'll need to do that. Obviously not this time. Uh, let's use... Let's use Inferno. I was gonna use an Air Force here, but I think Inferno is probably better off. Also, don't, as always, don't use blue against him. Blue attacks will just be absorbed, which would be really, really bad here, given the fact that he's already pretty tough. Two things to keep in mind also as we're going through this. Uh, one of the things that he can do is actually freeze you. I don't think there's any protection from freeze. So if you get frozen, um, it can totally ruin your game. And in fact, he can freeze all three of you, which would basically end the battle at that point. Um, he can also give you the flu, which I think lowers your stamina regen. Kind of annoying, but workable. But the, the frozen status, at least I don't think there's a protection from it, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and defend here, because I'd like to get my stamina back up. Oh no, this is bad. Did Lynx get frozen or the flu? Nah, I think he got the flu there. I'm not sure. Let's also heal this round. I think Viper has a whole bunch of heals, so let's go ahead and make sure we do that. We're okay, but I wanna just get back up there. Okay, he just has the flu. Oh, also we got burns uh, from that Inferno on the enemy. Really useful here if you can, um, when if you're using all those Infernos. That's a good possibility. That actually might be a good reason to use 
uh, red attacks. I think Inferno is one. I don't remember which other one. I want to say... I don't think Magma Blast does, but a few of them can inflict burns, and that would actually be really useful here. Uh, so you're not taking a lot of damage, because like I said, he spams these techs, whereas a lot of the other uh, the dragons don't use techs as much. Like they, they attack and then they use element stuff or other element stuff. No, this guy, he knows he knows he's got good techs, so he just that's what he uses. Um, don't use blue. Let's go. Nope. Let's use Earthquake. I still have Fargo set up on mostly blue techs, um, which in elements, which may not be great for him on this battle, but next battle, it'll be great for, so. And he's got enough and he does pretty good physical damage, so I don't care. Uh, let me go ahead and just defend to get everybody back up with some stamina. Please no, please no, please no. Okay, whoo! We gotta end this battle, cause uh, that just keeps getting riskier and riskier. Wait, are you kidding me? We won, yay! We didn't kill it, don't worry, not this one. All right, so we got a new growth level there, that was great. And uh, yeah, we got a bunch of money and level up there, beautiful. Well done, son of man. Thy strength is worthy of my powers, take with thee my prayers. All right, we got the blue relic. I too shall watch over thy fate, how thou strugglest to live, and how thou facest death. Alright, well let's get out of here. I will just meet you um, on the other side. Okay, so we went ahead and um, I, I fought a few of the creatures that had been floating about as I was leaving just to get those stat boosts, because we're going to want those. And now we want to go to Mount Pyre to fight the fire dragon. Now that fire dragon is not in the home world, it is in another world. So in order to do what we gotta do, we gotta come over here and use the astral amulet to get uh, into the other world. Wow, here we are. Can you, thank you, okay. All right, everybody get in formation. We gotta get in formation before we can move on. All right, so let's jump on our boat and we wanna head to Mount Pyre. Now this one, as you might expect, is the fire dragon, uh, it's Mount Pyre, which we have fought before, kind of. You may actually remember that. All right, well, let's jump into Mount Pyre, and I'm gonna be fighting uh, some of the creatures here. Not to these ones if I don't have to. I don't really wanna fight them. Um, but pretty much all the other creatures, like this guy, uh, we can fight the hot, the hot diggities. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, I'll fight those too. I think there's a bunch of those in here. So let me, uh, let me do that. Okay, that was uh, particularly easy. Um, I don't even know what to really say about this. Okay, in order to get where we wanna go, I'm gonna just bypass this guy. Uh, we wanna slide down here, and we wanna go this direction. Yeah, we really haven't done this, and it takes us up here. There was really no reason to go up here prior to this. Now this is the fun part. We actually do want to go up here to, to, to dodge that dog. Now we're gonna be taking some major damage as we walk up here. Okay. Just get across. I wanna grab this. Uh, we have to grab this before we freeze it. Dang it. This is what I don't wanna be going into. We should have no hit points left. So, we're gonna run away. <laughs> I'm not even gonna risk this. Um, obviously we didn't heal. Let's back away. Okay, whew. And then what I wanna do is actually just use um, 
some tablets, just a couple. We don't need, actually, there we go, that should be fine. And then I'm gonna go across here to fight this hot dog, it's hot doggity. Dude, it's dumb. Okay, so now we're all healed up, which is really good. And we get the poultice cat from here. I think the one thing we got, as if you're trying to get the hell out of Dodge from over there, was the perfect pen dragon sigil. Yeah, which um, changes weapon element to that of the last element attack received. Um, I'm never gonna use that, but if you feel like it's a good thing, let me know. And then we're just gonna sneak out of here. Okay, I wanna use, I think we can use it here. Where is it? The ice breath? Yeah, just use the ice breath here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fight one of those hot doggities again. Okay, and we're all healed up and ready to go into the next area. Uh, I think there's another hot doggity up here. Yeah, there is, which we could hit, I guess. Those guys take literally about 20 seconds to kill. There's nothing to them. Okay, before we uh, actually talk to this guy, one of the things I do want to point out and do is I have a lot of random elements <laughs> that I don't have equipped. Um, so like up here, I've got a bunch of infernos and stuff, but I do need to equip some blue elements on like links. So let me, let me actually take care of that really quick. All right, let's go ahead and fight the fire dragon. Hey, hey lad, so we meet again. You look a bit different, but I know it's you. Come on, challenge me again. What do you say? If you beat me, I'll give you the dragon relic and my pet salamander. I think that's his pet salamander up there, by the way. Couple things to discuss here. Uh, apparently this is one boss that if you leave, he doesn't heal, so that's kind of cool. And the first part of this, what I want to do is I just want to attack. I just want to attack. Um, he's got some red elements that he can use, but I'm not too worried about them at this point. So let's just go ahead and just use physical attacks. That'll help us get our element power up anyway. Okay, so he's got fiery breath here. This is this might hurt a little bit. 61 points, that's okay, that's not too bad. We are gonna want to use Diminish eventually, so yeah, be ready for that. Uh, let's see, can I not get past this part? There it is. So once you hit a certain point, he will transform. I wanted to get to that certain point because uh, this is when things become a little bit more complicated, as you could possibly guess. Okay, so now we're fighting the fire dragon, the true fire dragon. Let me go ahead and start this off by using Eagle Eye on Fargo. I wanna get the red plate off of this guy. I wanna make sure I get the red plate off of this guy. Now he's gonna start using some skills apparently. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, I kind of figured that was gonna hurt. Let's go ahead and let's use the links to heal. I wanna go ahead and get the three attacks in. And then let's use, I have a, do we have it somewhere? Yeah, I have a recover all here. Let's use that. Um, we're gonna get a diminish on him in a second after Fargo, but I wanna get the pillage off first. Okay. Oh, I should have used, that's okay. Nice miss, good. Fargo's taking a lot of damage. Fargo always takes a lot of damage in this one. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get that pillage. I love how he smokes after he, he does that. Oh, Fargo, why? Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. All right, now it's time to get that diminish in here. I beat this battle without the diminish. Um, but, oh, I can't get the, because he didn't get, mm, okay. It's fine. Well, there's a reason I'm not going straight back to Viper to get the Diminish on. Okay, he's gonna use the Fire Breath. We're gonna need to heal here. We're gonna need to heal here. This is gonna hurt, probably. Fargo actually might go down. 
Don't go down, Fargo. But what did I just freaking tell you? All right. Well, rather than healing, let's go ahead and get Fargo back up. Hey, buddy, we're just gonna bypass you for a second. Let's go ahead and use Viper here to get that to finish in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and uh, diminish this because uh, I'm about done with that, thanks. Now with this, at this point with that diminish, we should be good for the rest of the battle. We do need to heal up here, um, which I'm gonna use Fargo to do. Let me show you. I'm gonna use Inferno first, that's fine. He uses a lot of techs. And he is a little tougher than you'd expect. Okay, uh, we're okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. What I'm gonna use then, I'm gonna go into his elements and I'm actually going to use the cure all that um, only Fargo can use here because he's blue, he's the only all blue. And that will pretty much heal everybody up to full. So there we go. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. Now we do have burns on us, that means we are not doing as much damage as we could be. But that's okay, let's use... Okay, he's gonna use strength on himself here. Which means he's gonna be a little bit more powerful, but we'll be, we'll be okay. Uh, let's actually use Empty Blast here. Don't use red elements. Did I need to say that? Because he's red. Now this is probably gonna hurt a little bit more since uh, he does have that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, I think we're finally back to the stamp, like the correct stamina order. Maybe. Uh, let's use this deluge, please. starting to sag. I can't tell. Okay, let's go ahead and use... Oh, no, he's definitely sagging now. Ooh, ow. Oof. Rude. Well, I actually want to go ahead and use the invincible on... Him, yeah, he's definitely sagging now. Ooh, 418 points of damage. Dang, dude. Please not on Fargo, it's on the front, isn't it? That, okay, good. <laughs> I was about to say, no, 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 what are you doing? Uh, let's go ahead and use a uh, Cure Plus on Fargo. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't accidentally go down on a random attack before we finish this battle. He was kind of risky to bring since he has blue elements, so. Um, sure, let's just use the earthquake too, it'll be fine. That's it, that was <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't know why it was so delayed there. All right. And done. We get a new growth level. That's great. And we got to. Uh, we did not heal up all the way. That's okay. Hmm. We'll meet again. All right. We got the red relic. And um, I think we got salamander also from that. So at this point, let me get out of here so we can discuss what we need to do uh, next, actually. 
Okay, we've escaped from Mount Pyre, and we do have one more dragon to go, but that won't be for today. So what I want to do, um, I want to make sure that I've got all of my stat boosts and everything. Um, I don't think there's anything that we really need to purchase at this point. And then next time I will meet you where the final dragon is. I'll see you guys then.